You are familiar with this equation. This is Newton's second law. You also know this equation well. This is what we call conservation law of energy. Will you be surprised if I say these equations are absolutely the same? Actually, Newton's second law can be derived from conservation law of energy and vice versa. Conservation law of energy can be derived from Newton's second law. In this video, I'm going to prove that conservation law of energy can be derived from Newton's second law. Before moving to the topic, I'm going to tell you about conservation law of energy a little. This equation holds only when gravity is applied. Generally, conservation law of energy becomes this. If only gravity is applied, the work done by the gravity will be this. And then if I arrange this equation, we can have 1 half mv2 squared plus mgz2 is equal to 1 half mv1 squared plus mgz1. I mean, this equation will become this equation. Okay? This is the general expression for conservation law of energy. So, what I'm going to tell you is that this can be derived from this equation, Newton's second law. Okay? Let's get started. I'm going to start from this equation. And our goal is this. Firstly, I will put this m out of the differential. And then let's take the dot product of velocity v on the both side. I'd like you to look at this carefully. You may have some feel for proceeding to our goal because if we calculate this, we can get this equation in this way. So, let's put this equation into this. It was easy so far, wasn't it? By the way, what will this become? This is equal to this, right? And now we can get this equation. Next, I'm going to take integral of time on the both side. I mean, this. I just took integral of time. Wow, you see, the left side is equal to this, and the right side is equal to work. Yes, the right side is work, because the definition of work is this. This t means a unit tangent vector. So, this can be expressed in this way. I'm going to put this into this. Okay? By the way, ds, which means super small distance, can be calculated like this. Let's put this into this. Do you see? Work became this. And this is the same as this, because v is dr dt. That's why we can say this is work. Let's review what we did briefly. We started Newton's second law. And then we got this equation by arranging Newton's second law. The left side is the same as this. 
and the right side is work. Because the definition of work is this. Now we can say that Newton's second law is absolutely the same as conservation law of energy.